Hey guys, back with another video. This is going to be my, I want to say, it's going to be my, oh, yep, 13th uh, app review I'm going to be doing for you guys. So let's get this one started. Uh, i got a few new apps for you guys. Um, I think three or four, actually. All of them are new free apps. Uh, first one is called, what is it? Splash and Dash. Um, kind of a weird app. It's very tough. I actually suck at it. Um, what it is is that you get, yeah, I'll show you in a second. Watch right here, six numbers will appear. Two, seven, five, four, seven, nine. So, ah, I did terrible. The last four I completely missed. So, there is, as you guys can see, I'm trying to... How can I get out of this? Okay, well, now I'm going to come into it and I'll show you guys what you're actually supposed to do. As you guys saw, there's six numbers that will appear for like a split millisecond, and you're supposed to memorize all six of those numbers in order. Then you have one through nine down at the bottom, maybe it's zero through nine, I'm not sure. And you have a bunch of numbers down at the bottom, and you have to type them in in order, and then you push check. Um, depending on how many you make or miss is your points. Yeah, so it's zero through one. So I saw nine, seven, six, something, something. I just make up the last one because I couldn't see them. Yeah, so I got the first three. So now I get another set of six. Very tough game. Zero, one, zero, five, nine, four. Oh, man. Try one more. One, six, zero, seven, no. Six, seven, nine. Oh, I missed the last one. Okay, well, I'm doing terrible. I'm down 4,500 points. Um, yeah, so I think I've played like 30 or 40 of those number things, and I'm pretty sure that I've gotten one correct so far. So maybe you guys might be amazing at it, but I'm really terrible at it, and that is called... One more time, let's figure it out. Splash and Dash uh, is a free app from the App Store. It's pretty fun, uh, worth a couple of times. You might want to try it out. If you're good at it, you might want to keep it. If you're terrible at it, you might get frustrated and break your iPod. Um, all right, next app that we have is called Darts, and I think this is like one of the top apps right now, actually, from the App Store. It is a free app from the uh, from the App Store, and we're going to show you just first computer. We'll do against beginners, and you have. What is this? The object of X01 is to reach a score of exactly zero. So yeah, you start with a certain point uh, value and you have to go down in value until you get exactly zero. And there's also a game called Cricket on here. And I don't know Cricket, but I know that it is a famous dart game, so you have Cricket on here if you want to play that. I'm just going to do the normal gameplay where you have to go down to zero. So it's kind of tough uh, to figure out like the controls. Once you do, it's very easy after you get the hang of it. So you just simply just drag wherever you want to aim. And I screwed up my aimer. It was on the bullseye already. Let's see if I can get it back on. A little bit higher than I want it to be. That's good enough, I guess. So what you do is you just simply just push and you just drag forward. So you go. Shh. Cool. I threw a double bullseye. See, it's really not that tough, guys. I mean, maybe a couple times I threw a bullseye. See, it's really not that tough, guys. So you try a couple times, and here I'll just throw this one really hard. Uh, okay. So a little bit up. So there, you throw three darts, and then the computer gets to go, and they throw three darts. But now it's on beginner, so they're doing terrible. Um, just kidding, actually. They're beating me. But anyway, um. Yeah, so you figure it out after a couple times, like there's 20 and stuff like that. Uh, it's really simple, really kind of boring actually. All you do is you just simply just drag it. You don't really have to ever aim unless you're trying to get that specific last value to get down to zero. But, I mean, it has Cricket on here, and if you know Cricket or you know how to play it or you like it, you might want to download it because it is a free download from the App Store, and that is called Darts. Okay, uh, next one that I have, it's called Powerboat Light. Um, it's kind of a fun challenge. If you guys ever own a Nintendo 64, the old classic game called Wave Race, this is very similar to it, but you are using power boats instead. Uh, kind of tough controls, you're not going to be able to really see it that far or easy, so I'm going to be doing terrible, because you need to tilt it forward to go faster, so I'm just going to barely tilt it so you guys can still see the screen. So I'm going to be going very slow. So, uh, yep, you start kind of a little bit to load, but then you got this one level, I think it's just one level. I've only done this one, and you just tilt forward and use the accelerometer to tilt your controls. I'm going very slow so you guys can see, and as you guys can see, there's different arrows. You have to try and touch right up against it, and right there I got a perfect for it. So if it's a red arrow and it's pointing to the left, you go to the left, it'll be a green arrow pointing to the right if you go to the right. Uh, very simple, really. That's pretty much the entire thing. It's, I've, if you guys ever played Wave Race, it's very similar to Wave Race. If you haven't played Wave Race, it's very similar to most other games also. Just this one happens to be in the water and it happens to have those pointing arrows that you need to get across. Oh, I'm going to miss this one. And once you miss it, your boost just deploys completely. There's my boost and it's completely gone. 
not deploys, depletes completely, I apologize. So now my boost is completely gone, and that's pretty much the gameplay that I've seen so far. I haven't really completed a level because I usually get bored of it, but it's kind of fun, especially if you like racing games, especially if you like powerboat racing games, because I haven't seen too many of them out there. So that is Powerboat Light from the App Store, a free download. Pretty fun, you might want to check that one out. Last one that I have, pretty fun one, uh, it's called Tap Defense, and this is not a light version, this is actually the full version, and it is surprisingly a free download. Uh, if you guys have ever played, this is one of those games where it's strategic, where you have a set path, and you're going to have creatures or critters going through that path, and you build towers. It's, it's simple defense mechanisms. And what we have here is you are saving, like, hell, I guess actually what it is. Here, new game. Do easy. Uh, defend heaven from the armies of hell. Um pretty weird, I guess you could say. Um, so it's really simple. If you guys ever played a game called Bloons on the computer, there's that. Um, for the Sony PlayStation 3, there's a game called, uh, what's it called? Pixel Junk Monsters. If you guys have ever seen that game, it's really simple. You guys can get the hang out of it very quickly. So what you have down here is you click build, and you have arrows, bombs, and water. We're going to build an arrow tower first, and you just drag it to wherever you'd like. And now that it's dragged there, you click finalize, and right down here it says play. You click play, and now my little critters are going to start walking up. And my tower is going to supposed to beat the crap out of them. Uh, not doing so hot so far, so you can actually pause it, which is kind of a cheap way to win, but you can do it. So I'm going to go back in, I'm going to take a bomb tower. And now that we have a bomb tower, we're going to put the bomb tower at the corner, finalize, and play. So now we have two towers going at once. Um, you can have a lot of towers going at once, actually, and I've not seen any frame rate issues with it, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually love this app so far. There's not too much content to it, but there are different levels of difficulty. There's different enemies that will come to attack you. Uh, there's a couple different um, towers and crap that you can build. Like, you have a, bunch, a couple different ones. Um, I don't know what water tower does. But anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so you can have a bunch of enemies and a bunch of stuff happening once at the screen, and a lot of the times you're not going to have any frame rate issues. It's a pretty good, pretty well structured game. Um, that is called Tower Defense. It is a free download from the App Store. Definitely recommend that one, especially if you like that type of gameplay. And that seems to be all the apps that I have new for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to leave it at that. Uh, I want to thank you guys. Again, I've done this in a quite a load of videos. Not the other one I'm trying to sense my swearing if that's even swearing but anyway skip that um i want to thank you guys again definitely because i've had a tremendous amount of support from you guys especially recently uh i'm getting a lot of subscribers each day actually a lot of views a lot of comments um if you guys haven't seen it in the last two videos actually two videos ago it was the 2.2 software update check the end of it and um there's an email that i need you guys to go get to because i'm no longer going to be answering my personal messages because there are too many of them daily and now I've created an email address specifically for my iPod Touch help and my iPod Touch subscribers. And that'll be that, iPodGuy at Yahoo.com. So uh, I will put it in the annotations straight above you. Um, once again, that's that, iPodGuy at Yahoo.com. And send me you guys their uh, questions there. I get a crap load of those too each day. Um, I'm going to please ask you guys to keep the questions to a minimum. Not that you guys can't ask, ask me, but sometimes I get people that write me like a book of questions, and I can't always answer those. Uh, it's unfair to my other subscribers, so maybe ask me one or two questions. Just keep it to a couple lines. Uh, just keep it real nice and simple, and I'll try and help you guys as much as possible. So thank you guys for getting to that. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Remember to subscribe, comment, rate, all that fun stuff, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.